I played a lot of cricket in England. We played a lot of test matches so over there. We bowled with the Duke ball. So there's a lot of movement with the Duke ball. So you get a lot of confidence in out swing, in swing, whatever you're trying. So that experience helped me away. In India, you basically, I mean, second innings, you, oh, you got all your wickets with your out swing. And there, most of the wickets were with your in swing. So, I mean, how do you. What's the planning behind it? You assess the wicket, you want to see uh, the condition, what works here. Over there, the wicket was different. Over here, the wicket has a lot more bounce. So, in, in bouncy wickets, you can get greedy and you look to bowl short. But you, you should not do that. You look to bowl in good areas, create pressure and try and bowl full. So, that was the plan going into the first innings. So, yeah, we were just trying to assess the uh, situation as soon as possible and try and bowl accordingly. Uh, you bowled in the first hour of the day and then you came back to bowl later on. What was the, con what was the conditions like and the difference? So now the wicket's gotten a little better, so the movement has gotten less uh, than the previous innings. So yes, as, as I told you, we have to bowl well, create pressure from all ends. So then that will help us uh, to be in good spirits. Have you set your sights on getting a certain amount of wickets for this match or you're you're fine with where you are? No, I don't, I don't think like that. I always want to... I always look at team goals, so... If we win the match, I'm fine if I don't get wickets as well. My aim is how can I contribute towards the team success, be it taking wickets, creating pressure or however I can contribute. So that is the way I go forward. Yesterday you started on the same. Is there any particular logic behind that? The first innings I changed my end because we want there was the breeze was going from this end to that end so we wanted to use the in swinger and wanted to see how it goes. So we we tried to do that and it worked. We pitched the ball up and this this uh, this inning there was no particular reason. Ishant usually starts where he started from this inning. From that. Could you talk about the Indian bowling unit itself? You played all your tests overseas, but as a bowling unit itself in the last three years at least, uh, you've been a tremendous bowling unit. We we we've done a lot of hard work, and now last year we played a lot of away matches. So a lot of camaraderie is there. A lot of. Uh, Backing is there, we back each other whenever the things are not going well. Even if things are going well, we discuss what can we do better. So that was a plan going forward. We, we've got a good relationship, all of us. We, uh, we, we want to get better every year. So uh, it's a good relationship. And then, yeah, we're working hard and hopefully these processes will bring more results. Yesterday when you were interviewed by the uh, skipper, uh, you said uh, you know, there's a lot of communication between, you and the, uh, between the bowlers as the match is uh, unfolding, right? Obviously, as a cricketer, he understands what that communication is. What is that communication? What do you Just in general, because Ishant has played a lot more cricket than all of us. Shami has played a lot of cricket. I'm the, I'm the new guy, so I try and ask questions. And I, I ask them, they've played here before. What works in different conditions? If the wicket is not doing anything, what should we do? What different plans are to be there? So all these communication goes on, between, including the captain and the vice captain. Everybody discusses, everybody has their own plans. So all of these things are going around when you play. When you, when you come in with a plan, right, let's say batsman A, right, you have an initial plan and when you try certain thing and it doesn't work, like how soon do you realize that plan is not working, that you have to go to plan B and C? And you have to think on your feet whenever you're there on the ground. Sometimes you go with a fixed notion, but you have to keep, your, uh, keep an open mind because sometimes things you've planned, but the wicket is not helping according to that. So you think on your feet and you try to assess quickly as soon as possible what is the wicket, what is the wicket offering.